Welcome to an exclusive look at what's new in Grounded's Make It and Break It 1.3 update. It's packed with features, improvements, and content that will revamp your entire experience in the backyard. So sit back and let's dive deep into what you can expect in today's update. Introducing Playgrounds, our new ambitious game mode that allows you to create, share, and play new grounded experiences with a new suite of tools and features built right into the game. Imagine populating your very own backyard with an array of items. Think Chunky Chub baseballs, army men, puncho boxes, and that's just the start. Now let's talk specifics. With the playground, you can place over 300 world art props that are used in the backyard, 400 plus items like equipables, resources, and consumables, more than 100 harvestables like acorns, pebblets, and berries, and all creatures. Yes, that includes bosses. And if you thought that was cool, wait until you hear about gadgets and gizmos. We're introducing things like buttons, switches, levers, pressure plates, and triggers to set up unique logic flows. Add ambience with time of day, music player, visual and sound effect gizmos. Insert gameplay elements like laser cannons, fans, super bounce pads, power-ups, and the telepod. And let's not forget the ability to spawn in creatures. Many of these are fully customizable from how they look to how they even function. You have complete control over how you want to design your playground environment. And if you're looking to elevate your creations even further, we've got you covered. Dive into our advanced logic options, which include condition checkers, logic gates, and timers to set up complex gameplay mechanics, like a button that becomes functional only after you've defeated a boss, or a logic gate that springs a trap when specific conditions are met. Whether you're crafting custom games, constructing intricate obstacle courses, or just letting your creative mind run wild, you're not just playing, you're also enriching the entire Grounded community with new content. While creating a playground, there are two modes, design mode and play mode. In design mode, you can freely place and arrange assets. In play mode, you can experience your creation in real time. Made a mistake? No worries. With the undo redo feature, you can quickly backtrack. And with free placement and rotate freely options, you're not limited by grid placements. Once you've built a playground you're proud of, you can publish it for the whole world to see. Each playground gets a unique code ID that you can share with others. This means your incredible game modes, obstacle courses, or scavenger hunts could become the next big thing in the grounded community. But don't take our word for it. You can download and try out playgrounds created by other players. Just enter their unique code and boom, you have a whole new playground to explore. And if you want a fresh canvas, we're introducing a new creative level called Grass Box within the playground mode. Imagine a blank yard, your backyard, ready for you to build from the ground up. For survival game players, as you can see from the amount of time left in this video, there's plenty more in this update. We understand everyone has their own play style, so we're rolling out additional custom game options to help you tailor your grounded experience. Here's what you can customize. Want longer or shorter days and nights? You got it. Control how quickly you need to eat or drink, making your survival more or less challenging. Tweak how fast resources come back into the world. Adjust creature health scaling and fall damage scaling to make confrontations more or less daunting. Now, you can decide whether or not players can build and relocate buildings. Control access to the crafting menus to fine-tune your game's difficulty or focus. Plus, all players will be notified anytime the host changes a custom game option during gameplay. We're implementing some key adjustments to ground its difficulty modes to fine-tune your gameplay experience. Here's what you can expect. In medium mode, enemy damage is reduced by 10% for a more forgiving experience. Pets Invincible will now be enabled by default, giving your companions an extra layer of protection. For Whoa mode, player damage, building health, and item durability have all been improved. While creature health has been tuned to be more challenging, we are making more changes to the difficulty, so check the patch notes for details. Our aim with these changes is to enrich and balance the gaming experience for players across the board. We're thrilled about all the new content and systems we're adding, but we haven't forgotten about the little things that can make a big difference. Firstly, for all explorers and collectors out there, you'll be happy to hear that we've upgraded the map functionality. Collected milk molars and scabbies will now appear on your map to help you know which collectibles you're missing. Go ahead and cross-reference those with your online wikis. And each icon category can now be toggled on and off for group visibility. 
keep your map as clean or as cluttered as you wish. Ever get confused with multiple zip lines zigzagging around? Worry no more! You can now name individual zip lines to quickly find the right path to zip down. Inventory management just got a whole lot easier. When dropping, transferring, or trashing items, you can now specify the exact number of items you want to move around. Mixers will now display which creatures are involved in defense attacks and the amount of raw science you can earn before you start them. We're also boosting your in-game rewards. Whenever you defend against attacks, either from factional reactivity or the waft emitter, you'll be rewarded with raw science for each creature defeated. And the stronger the faction, the more raw science you earn per kill. So not only do you get the satisfaction of protecting your turf, you also get to accumulate more of that precious raw science. We're shaking things up in the quest department. We are revamping the randomized daily repeatable burgle quest by introducing a series we like to call apprentice quests that unlock sequentially. Once you complete the first quest, you'll unlock the second, continuing up to the final most challenging quests. There are roughly 100 in total. After you've tackled these milestones, your journey is complete. But don't worry, daily quests are not going anywhere. We're just changing how you unlock them. After you finish the first 20 apprentice quests, a new daily quest section will become available in the ASL quest menu. These dailies offer you a mix of objectives based on your progress in the linear epic quests. Unlike before, you'll gradually unlock more options in your daily quest pool as you complete more of your apprentice quests. We're excited to announce some significant changes to the game's combat systems aimed at providing a more balanced and dynamic experience. In this update, the questionable slop is no longer craftable, and we have revamped the default smoothie to better serve its role as a basic healing potion. Now when you unlock the smoothie station, it will give you access to the new Soothing Syrup Smoothie, which not only provides a basic heal, but it's also budget-friendly to craft. The healing amount for all smoothies has been doubled, and all smoothies now adhere to a longer consumable cooldown to account for the increased healing. The combo damage structure has been revised. The first two hits now deal consistent damage at 100%, while the third hit in the combo delivers a 25% bonus. These changes are implemented across all weapons, ensuring a more predictable damage output. The damage for charge attacks has been boosted for nearly every weapon. Players will now have a base chance to land critical hits, even without any specific crit boosting effects. Thorns effects, which counterattack when you hit, have seen a significant increase. Base damage for all types of turret ammo has also been increased. Two-handed swords and axes come with new slightly faster attack animations. The animation speed for two-handed club attacks has been increased, and the first-person camera movement during these attacks has been notably reduced. Last, but definitely not least, let's talk about the brand new content we're introducing. You've requested it, and we are delivering you a basketball! That's right! Now you can shoot some hoops and grounded without wasting those pebblets. We've added new dribbling and shooting animations, a mechanic that adjusts shot distance based on charge time, and a physics reactive hoop. Plus, there's a new wall-mounted hoop, and making a shot can trigger logic events in playgrounds. We're spicing things up in the trinket department too. Recognizing that trinkets have typically been more of a mid to late game feature, we're introducing a new set specifically designed for early gameplay. Each trinket corresponds to a classic RPG role, so whether you fancy yourself a tank or an archer, you'll find a trinket tailored to your playstyle. Dandelions no longer require equipping for use. Instead, they are single-use items with no durability that can be stacked. To balance this change, dandelions yield more tufts when harvested. Additionally, players won't have to decide between obtaining a tough or a trinket. Notably, the fluffy dandelion tough trinket now has unlimited uses, enhancing its value. For those of you who love to build, we're adding the heavily requested half and quarter walls, floors, roofs, and foundations. More boss vanity buildings using the broodmother, mantis, and wasp queen parts. Finally, a brand new mutation that reduces friendly fire damage dealt and received, making co-op play even more cooperative. And that brings us to the end of our in-depth look at what's new in Grounded's Make It and Break It 1.3 update. But we've only scratched the surface here. For the full rundown of everything this update offers, check out the complete patch notes in the link below. Be sure to join our official Discord and keep the conversation going. Stay tuned for more updates, and until then, stay safe and stay grounded.